So it's your boy Downsize and I'm back once again on my block with another hood classic. <clears throat> this one right here is to speak to the history of the Arizona Mexican Mafia and what people need to understand about that particular part, that particular prison gang and where it begins and those original members. Because the origins of the story of the Arizona Mexican Mafia it's not, it's, it's nowhere near what the story told about California's origins is. As a matter of fact, the origins of the story here are of, the, of those type of brutalities. Now, you must understand something that these kids going into the prison system here, they started the Arizona Mexican Mafia because they went in as juveniles killing cops and everything else that they were all known sexual deviants. Now I get that it may cost me monetarily wise on this video to be saying these things, but it's a fact. These things are known about these members of the Arizona Mexican mafia that they sexually assaulted other inmates as a terror tactic to keep people in check. That was the greatest fear that they imposed upon people is that you would get you would get raped when you got to prison. That was what everybody feared in that time most. And you couple that with the fact that Central Unit led the nation in murders during that time. That they were it was run amok. There are those who were there during the 70s who who who, who would attest to there being two, three murders a week in one facility, one yard. One unit where they all had to come out. They all had access. It was a dog-eat-dog word of the worst that these gangs on the east side of Phoenix produced. And mind you, that's another thing. That those original members were from these original east side gangs that are the oldest here in the state. Until David Fierros comes on from Dupa Villa Projects and that becomes an issue. That terror tactic became an issue because there was those who never partook, never subscribed, and also the branding of, of themselves with a patch. That was another thing that David stood, at, stood up and out against. And he was willing to kill and to die for it when he told Posse to meet him on the handball courts. Now, there's, there's plenty of, plenty of stories about all this, and I don't want to get into it. I'm not trying to glamorize what was done there. I'm trying to speak to the terror of what was there and, and, and why they did it. They were deviants. They were predators by nature. A juvenile who ends up in prison for, for felony crimes, even such as mines where, where murder is alleged, in mine serial murder is alleged in my juvenile case. And there are many others like myself I know who either did that as gang members and gang related or that um, were murders as juveniles and the nature of their crimes was, was very violent, very brutal. And see, and see, knowing the behavior of the people that the community I come from, because it's all the same. The behavior patterns are the same from one generation to the next. The only difference is, is that the next generation seeks to outdo the last. And it's how we get to this point. See, you get all these dudes on here that tell all these stories and they want to talk about just that, all the murder, the mystery, the, the you know, because it's clickbait. It's the devil's delusion of grandeur. It makes themselves look good to even to even have been there. But does it make them look good to have been there, to have participated in that? When so many lives have been lost, yet this is what they want to speak on. I speak against it because my moral compass leads me to do so, leads me to believe that these things are wrong and to express exactly what I see wrong in them so that people can, can clearly identify those actions for what they are. And I delude themselves into, into believing that it's cool to do those things. It's right to acceptable. If there's any justification for the crimes that are committed by these particular creeps. I know them. 
you see, and and you've had those on here who've done their best to discredit me and my and and whatever whatever my participation was in that. And you know what? Thank God for that. I never was. I never did. Because those people seek to 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 highlight themselves as being upstanding in that world when I never wanted to be. They mentioned me, which speaks more to the the the, the decomposition of of the standards that they promote, the principles that they claim to 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 profess. No. It's all a lie. It's all a deceit. It's all a delusion of grandeur. And you see how those that, that promote the prison channels in this prison genre on the YouTube Yarda, how they sound when they're putting this stuff out there. But see here, here in Arizona, think about it. The gang is a band of pedophiles that begins this gang here. And its legacy is that same trail. But there's those who, who think that because they never did or they weren't and that's then and this is now that they're any different than the legacy and lineage in which they come from. They're not. Right is right and wrong is wrong and people need to understand that. Now, how can anybody want to subscribe to something when you know that those dudes who started it started it for that reason? So they can take booty. So they can take booty. That's why they did it. And I'm going to leave you with that. Peace. Mouth.